Hello everybody, my name is John Rattigan, I'm the curator of Clare Museum and today I'll be taking a look at an object from the Clare Museum collection uh, as part of History Week, which is an initiative for the Decade of Centenaries. The Adventures of Don Quixote, it came to Clare Museum as part of a collection of items associated with John Joe Goggles Doyle, the great Clare hurler. Uh, associated with Newmarket GAA, but he was the captain of the Clare team that was beaten in the 1932 All-Ireland Hurling Final. And when we got it in initially, we, we considered it an interesting piece from an education point of view, but it told us a little bit about how Clare people were educated in Ennis in the past. Um, but when we were cataloguing it, we came across some graffiti inside, which gave it a whole new uh, level of interest. Um, John Joe Goggles Doyle in 1917 was a student at St. Flannan's College and he wrote his name on the inside of the book. But he also, like a lot of teenagers today, um, uh, did a lot of doodles and messages. Uh, they were written all over it. And uh, these are interesting because they're all political and they, they're related to uh, the Republican, the emerging Republican movement in Clare in 1917. We have to remember 1917 was the year that uh, Eamon de Valera won the East Clare by-election. He had won it in, during the, the summer months. Uh, we know from a date inside of this book that uh, these doodlings date to about October 1917. And if we look at the back page we can see that he, he was being, becoming very politicised as a teenager. He has a, a, a crest here uh, with the words IRA on it, a shamrock and IV, and IV stands for Irish Volunteers. And this is only about 18 months after the 1916 Rising. He also has um, another harp on the inside here. Again, another, another nationalist symbol um, taken on its own uh, it probably wouldn't uh, be too surprising to find that in, uh, in, in the copybook of, of a, or a school book of a teenager in Clare at that time. But it has the colours green, white and yellow, um, which would signify the Irish flag, a symbol of the Republican movement at that time. So this gives us an idea. It's important now to our collection because it, it tells us a lot about the politicisation of young people uh, in, during the uh, early stages of the War of Independence, just before, on the eve of the War of Independence, uh, during a time of the, the, the hunger strikes in Clare, uh, Clare men on hunger strike uh, during this period, there was a time of um, uh, illegal gatherings by IRA men who were trying to get arrested in order to help promote the cause, and it was certainly having an effect on John Joe Doyle. So thank you very much.